what were your thoughts, Malin, on Eric Benavy being the new <laughs> um, OC for the Commanders? I mean, listen, I, I I'm not one of those people that needs to care about the numbers <coughs> of how many people are a head coach based on the color of their skin. Yeah. Like I've never I've never been one to put a whole lot of weight into that. Now I do know that there are people that are overly qualified that have not gotten the position because of the color of their skin. And that needs to be recognized. And Eric Bieniemy is one of those people. Should have already been a head coach. Yeah. The fact that this man has to go and work for the defunct <laughs> Power Rangers sexual harassment waiting to happen. <laughs> Daniel Snyder wearing bomber jackets. Can't come up with a goddamn name to save your life. So you've had three names in four years. Washington Commanders, he got to be their offensive coordinator. Where I think Carson Wentz is still the quarterback. Somewhere. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Maybe somewhere they're still paying him a lot of money. Yep. Um, keep in mind, Matt Nagy was uh, the offensive coordinator of the Chiefs before Eric Bieniemy, and he quarterbacked Alex Smith to the playoffs three years in a row, and he got the Bears' head coaching job. Mm. Never got out of the divisional round. Right. This man. Is the offensive coordinator. Same type of play calling duty, stuff like that right. as Matt Nagy. Five straight AFC championship games, three Super Bowls, winning two of them. Um, and he has to not only not get a head coaching opportunity, but he has to go someplace else to be an offensive coordinator to be able to prove that he has what it takes. <laughs> right. I'm like, I, I just I don't understand. There are so many coaches. I think it was in the last five years, out of all the head coaches um, that have been hired since he started interviewing for head coaching positions, like right. 38% of them <coughs> were fired after two years or three years. And I'm like, but we can't give this man a chance? Right. Like, so I, I don't know. I think it's, I just think it's ridiculous and disrespectful. It is. It is. And keep in mind that if if the Chiefs win a Super Bowl, <laughs> right. do you think Matt Nagy's not going to have a head, head, head co- it, another head coaching job right. next year? Yeah. Like, so, yeah, this is, this is one of those racist parts of the NFL, in my opinion, to where not everyone has to interview great, but the, the production speaks for itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nestor, you can go ahead next. Um, yeah, maybe he feels like this is the only move he can make right now, um, because he's not been given this opportunity and he's going to a team where I think they're not even top 15 in offense. And it's been like that for like the last six years. So it's not going to take much, hopefully for him to change it around. (laughs) And, uh, man, I hope, I hope after his spell at the... Washington State, uh, I'm sorry, Washington Commanders. Uh, I, I hope say, he wait a minute, we don't lands that position. That team. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Shaq. Yeah, I hope it's a chance for him to win it and prove a point. But unfortunately, with the Commanders, of all people, what's going to happen is he's going to go out there for, with a team that we know ain't going to do too well the next couple of seasons, <clears> and then they're going to fire him and. and trying to put it on him like it was his fault when we know this team was destined to maybe at most maybe at most come close to breaking even but we know this team isn't going to do well and they're going to find a way to fire him like it's his fault it's like he just doesn't have the resources on this team to really thrive and prove himself unfortunately so it's just him taking a job where cross my fingers yeah. and pray for things to go my <coughs> way because the man very much deserves a better there, there has spot. never been another coordinator in the NFL that has the credentials that he has, yeah. the clout yep. that he has, and had to go to another team and be the offensive coordinator just to be able to prove that he can do the job. Yeah. I, I forget the number of interviews he's had the last several years, but it's something like ridiculous. Um, but it is just kind of sad that he felt like he needed to settle for this because I'm sure he was like, damn, I've been on whatever, a dozen interviews for head coaching jobs in the last few years. 
none of them have panned out. Let me just go ahead and get up out of here so I can get something different. Because if I keep doing the same thing, I keep getting the same result. I, when I first saw the, the news, I thought he was taking Ron Rivera's job. And I was like, oh, good for him. But then it was like, as offensive coordinator, I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> number like one. a lateral move. Right. Like, why would you, why would he want to go take that? But it's like, I get it. He probably felt just like he didn't have much of an, an option with his current situation. Uh, I wish him nothing but the best of luck. Hope it well works out. I will say, we all know Morgan Brown, friend of the show. He was saying six months ago they need to get rid of Ron Rivera. Uh, it, well, he was saying they need to clean house, but uh, yeah, I, to me, it doesn't make any sense why they didn't just say, Ron, it's been real, but we're going to bring in somebody else who's got a lot, lot better track record recently. What they need to do is clean a lot of stadiums on and put a Chick-fil-A on <laughs> and be more productive. <laughs> <laughs> Chick-fil-A at churches and the Popeyes. <laughs> you probably see more traffic <laughs> in that <laughs> area. <laughs> Throwing a KFC for the white people. <laughs> <laughs> There's more wins every Sunday than to have the stadium there. You know, a lot of happier people. Tell you that let me tell you this: the Chick Fil A would probably see more traffic on a Sunday than a stadium, and that's saying a lot of seasons they're not open on I Sunday. Mean, I was about to say Chick Fil A closed, man. Exactly. Like, oh, man. Still see more tra- <laughs> to see more traffic, and the people confused and why it's not open. It's like, oh shit, it's Sunday. <laughs> Let's stop talking about Chick Fil A right now. I just love, I just love how Jalen brought up Morgan Brown. I forgot Morgan Brown existed. <laughs>